If you look closely at the museum's white houses, you'll notice that most of them are not really white, but cream-colored. In the early 19th century, most house paints were made with linseed oil, which gave the final product a yellowish look. It wasn't until the 1850s that paint makers discovered how to create something like a pure white. When we painted our buildings, we were careful to scientifically analyze the colors applied to their original surfaces. We took samples from everywhere on each building, so we'd be sure not to confuse painted wood used in later repairs with the original materials. From these studies, we discovered that many of our buildings were not painted when they were first constructed. Hosmer's Inn, for example, was built in 1818 and remained unpainted for many years. The pale yellow that it's covered in today represents its first paint job, probably from the 1830s. In contrast, two doors away, the female seminary from Romulus was painted as soon as it was built. Underneath many layers of white paint, we found that the wood still looked fresh, proving that it was not exposed to the elements for very long.